Hello there, Aries, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. And Aries, this is a reading for you, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Four of Autumn, hold on. Manage your resources wisely, Aries. So achieve a balance in how you are spending and saving money. Also, you know, maybe with your time and maybe even emotions. But there is a emphasis here, I feel, when it comes to your monetary uh, necessities here. Help out those who are less fortunate if you're able, okay? But maybe some of you, you may be in the position of receiving some assistance as well. So be open to receiving that because, you know, when it's your turn to give, um, you'll be able to do that as well, right? Uh, just passing something on. So we do have Earth sign coming through, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, also be assertive don't back down from what you believe courageously stand up for yourself hmm i was talking about time your energy your emotions so you might be achieving a balance right now um, and finding yourself maybe a little bit more empowered to stand up for yourself okay there may be something going on too with uh, focusing on physical fitness or doing things that can help with your physical stamina. I'm just picking something up about, you know, your physical vessel here and improving it or doing things right now consistently that will pay off. And it probably has been paying off. So I sense fire sign <laughs> coming through as well. Oh, gosh. These are two cards, though, too, that signify, um, you know, blocking something out let's get a i want to get a little bit more with these two for aries on the four of autumn seven of spring aries in case you don't know how it works on this channel is that i channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long and it is for you so i do hope you enjoy this and it resonates for the most part for aries and sun moon rising and venus Okay, surrender to silence. So you, yeah, I, you might need to block some outside noises, okay? Now you'll know when it feels noisy in your life, whether it's others, others' opinions, maybe it's blocking out, you know, from doing anything excessively here because we are managing resources wisely. And also, you know, I was talking about you managing your own energy wisely, so surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. A silence can heal and replenish you. So I feel that you have been doing a lot, you know, with having to be assertive, not backing down from what you believe, you know, and having to have a lot of courage. And maybe that has been a little um, draining and exhausting. So make sure you are taking some time out. But there is something I feel... <clears throat> You already know or you have done this blocking some something out okay that's not necessary and surrendering to setting limits wow this is four of autumn this is four of pentacles um, it, <clears throat> it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence see and then it's like the sense of hermit here going hermit mode um, withdrawing if necessary here so that you can allow peace to prevail so it's okay to say no to others without having excuses or feeling guilty you have to at this time i feel that you do need to block something or someone out <clears throat> maybe it's blocking out time for yourself too so that you are making sure that you're taking care of yourself okay yeah and i do feel that you might be blocking out <clears throat> time or maybe you're being guided to do this especially if you've been feeling pulled to do it and you're not where you're blocking out time to be consistent on you know some benefactor that's good for you right or something beneficial like uh, a workout routine you know or maybe there's something with studies um Maybe there is something with, you know, uh, trying to be consistent on and getting the, those, those times of silence. What else for Aries? 
Oh my God. It's so funny. How, it's just so, something funny how that card came out. <laughs> okay. Nine of summer. I like what we got going on. This is kind of like a Cinderella uh, scenery going on here because it's a fairy godmother. This is a wish fulfillment card um, and it is associated with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know, we have wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. So maybe there is something that you know that you've worked hard for or there's something that you know that you're going towards that is causing you some, some sense of, you know, independence and feeling good about yourself and uh, creating a wish fulfillment. So make sure you are putting your wishes out. There may be something here with receiving something. <clears throat> I just heard something like a designer here, maybe something with, yeah, I, not that it matters, I, you know, but maybe there's something here with designer wardrobe or designer things. Maybe just feeling abundant. Maybe just feeling like you're lavishing in some type of luxury because, you know, with this four of pentacles, you could also be in a place where maybe if you have been saving up, it's okay to buy yourself a little treat or a luxury item. Maybe it is some type of, you know, nice apparel or something like that. Okay, just do what feels right for you, but you know, you, you've been um, looked after here and I feel that maybe you've, maybe you do have a, a sense of a Cinderella story here. So stay true to yourself. Um, if you've been wanting to say no to things, then you're right on target here, especially when it comes to uh, doing things that make you feel more joyous and pleasurable. And if that means having to, uh, you know, surrender to silence, well, that's what you're doing. <clears throat> okay, what else? Wow, Ace of Summer. Open your heart to love. Mm, there may be a wish fulfillment for love. S a sense of feeling uh, a strong commitment or a protected, uh, a protection. Or uh, I guess what I want to say is like a, a protective love. Okay, the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Be open to that. See, because you are doing something here in quiet meditation and allowing, um, you know, the stillness to enter within you, to replenish you. And when you do that, you will have some powerful insights. So be open to that and also be open to receiving something joyous and fulfilling when it comes to, you know, the matters of the heart here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this is the Ace of Cups. So this is good news. This is a good beginning here. Let's see what this is. Release. See, you are releasing something. This is the death card associated with Scorpio. So let's see, let go of the past. Hmm. I feel that's what you're doing. You're putting your hand up and saying no to the past or falling into maybe past patterns, behaviors, or traps, whether it's, you know, someone else doing it or others or oneself. <laughs> okay, time to move on. So, you know, an ending that makes way for new opportunities. So this is a sign if you've been looking for one, letting you know that new opportunities are inevitable. Oh my gosh, we got something powerful going on here. You got the lovers here. There is something about love forming in your life. You you may you you may be ready for love, especially those that um, have been having to you know do things with healing, um, you know with relationships, whatever in the past, present, you know all of that. Now, if there is something going on in a current love relationship, you know there is this thing about healing, rekindling, a rebirth of a current one. But many of you, you know, there is some type of union here. Now, if you know you're not going to be in a love situation, then there is something powerful going on with you being very experienced in life and having a, a long-standing commitment to the, high, uh, the highest realms possible here. So yeah, spirit and God, Jesus universe is really guiding you to stay committed to a very important uh, path for yourself. But, you know, if you Aries, um, 
if you've been letting go and, and, you know, doing some inner work and, you know, you've been doing things to um, put you in a place of allowing yourself to flourish and flourish with others and open up to love, well, here you go. I mean, because we have true love that is long lasting. So if you want long lasting love, well, the choice is, the choice is you, or <laughs> the choice is you. Okay. Oh my gosh. Someone's going to choose you. I feel that the choice is you or choose you. Okay. Choices made from the heart, <laughs> a return to good health. Oh, I was really picking something up to, you know, good health here. So, you know, stay consistent, you know, um, you know, just example what I'm doing. And I, I I've just learned through my experience, like, you know, to just be easy about activities, physical activities, do things that you enjoy doing, not what you hate to do, right? So when you, especially if you haven't exercised for a while or you're doing something new, to go all gung-ho would be a bad mistake because you're just going to burn yourself out and you're not going to like it, you know? So I just told myself that, you know, I want to commit to, um, my uh, cycling thing, we have a, uh, an exercise bike at home. So I just try to commit to that at least, at least 15 minutes a day, but I always do more. And uh, yeah, if I skip, I tr oh, and I try not to skip more than maybe one day, but I allow myself uh, some rest. But you know, I've been doing that consistently for at least six weeks and I do feel the difference. So I really encourage you to, to start something and start small if it's been a while, because you will feel really good about yourself and that's priceless. So I hope that you see yourself, you know, the way that the divine God, Jesus universe, okay, looks at you. Okay, perfect. All right. Now we have Gemini showing up with the lovers here. So I feel that you are in a place of balance. You're also um, being guided to be very good with choices right now. Implement healthy choices as much as possible. Surround yourself with positive people and situations as much as you can. And if that means you got to surrender to silence for the time being, then do that. You may even find some of you have come out of a maybe significant commitment with someone or, you know, a contract of some type or a, a job of some type to come into something new here. What else for Aries? You're making your dreams real. So we're starting new or we have been starting new because this is the endings that allow new opportunities let's get a little bit more with make your dreams real i see a lot of you aries you're getting a wish fulfillment in whatever you've been really wishing for an ideal partnership uh, ideal like purpose here ideal family um, ideal healing with another here you know whatever it is it's like your dream <laughs> love here <laughs> all right make your dreams come true aries this is earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn what do you want aries to know when it comes to making their dreams real and not just in the mind oh yes okay wow we got three of winter here you are releasing and letting go of some type of past hurt or a perceived failure or mistake that really was, you know, hurtful here. Reach out to others for comfort and love because you will grow stronger from the situation. Sadness that will heal with time. So I feel that there, you all you got right now is time. So put all your energy into, you know, doing something very good and productive, even taking one step towards making a difference for yourself and others. It will replenish you. It will make you feel good. Maybe take some time out if you do need time to figure out what you want to dream about. I feel that, you know, these three of swords have now turned into like a needle, you know, a needle. And, you know, it's kind of like the spider weaving a web. Well, you know, it's like uh, the divine is the thread and you've got the needles here. So you could be um, you know, weaving quite a beautiful thing. So 
Yep, you're starting anew here. Okay, let me see what this other card is too. This is the Three of Swords. Um, this is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh yeah, look at this, a brilliant success. Oh my God. Especially when it comes to overcoming, you know, some type of hurt, sadness, or maybe a feeling a distance from your dream or vision or a love. Brilliant success and the freedom to go in any direction. A journey that is now complete. Look at that. A journey. Three of winter. And we're starting something new. So this means you can take your time to do something here. And, you know, this card of release is a card of transformation. And I just see you having your butterfly wings and ready to fly and be proud of yourself. So make sure you are noticing all of the uh, successes, big or small, it doesn't matter. Just notice them. What else for Aries? Believe in yourself. You've got what it takes. There's something brilliant here going on because I do sense you being in the king or queen of wands with this believe in yourself. So take some time to relax. Don't let things grow out of proportion like being nervous or anxiety, stress, worry. Okay, you, you need to know that there's more going on than meets the eye. And I feel there's something magical happening here with, you know, you getting some type of I don't know, um, makeover of some, some type, but it's, it's going to be a permanent one. And I feel that it's very abundant here. So, you know, this might even be, um, tied in with Empress. I'm kind of getting Empress energy too, with this nine of summer. So, um, abundance, lavishing and uh, lavishing or feeling just really abundant here. And then actually being able to produce doing things that you feel confident in doing. Okay. So, hmm. why did I hear, why did I hear, someone needs to hear this, so take it if it resonates, don't worry if it doesn't, back off a task or two, back off a task or two or something like that, maybe, maybe there's like something about 10 of wands, maybe we, we're coming to a place where we're finally ready to let some things go, to, to just kind of lighten your load in a sense. Okay, what else for Aries? Time to let go, Aries. Wow, this is coming out again. We've got that release. We have that world card. Let's get more with time to let go for Aries. Don't let things bother you. Something and someone good is coming in too. I'm noticing something with this world card. I don't think this world yeah, it doesn't have like that wreath, but there's a wreath in, in here in the lover's card. So there is a real sense of feeling in a place of wholeness, completion. There even me there may be something with a marriage of some type here. Okay, let's get a little bit more with time to let go for Aries. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's the lover's card again. This is kind of interesting because, wow. What was weird was I was even like looking at this card and I flipped over. Okay, well, <laughs> spirit cycle. That's it. Um, okay, so lovers, time to let go. Something about you letting go and releasing and allowing um, something and someone new to come into. Okay, don't be afraid of letting go of old uh, soulmate or karmic situations, maybe uh, old commitments. Okay, don't let something bother you and don't settle less for than you what, than what you deserve here. I'm really looking powerfully at this uh, lion and the eagle here. So. There, there's some type of divine union at play with very, a very good and complimentary um, energy for you too. So you're meant to experience true love. You're meant to experience um, a sense of intimacy here like no other and really feel safe to do so. I encourage you to stay committed to 
on a path that you're feeling loyal to. Now, again, if you don't want something to do with a partner in love, then don't put this in your situation here. But there is something about a union and you coming into great wealth, stability, being able to pass things on to, you know, your family, your children, whatever, you know, others. Anyhow, <laughs> we're letting it go. You could even be letting go of some type of... Maybe something about maybe, I don't know, something that's been bothering you or maybe something feeling too picky about something. Now, for some, it could be something strong about family ties here that you've let go. But you're building some type of strong uh, wealth here, you know, and I was really getting you with this believe in yourself really is vibrating to me as <clears throat> king and queen of wands, which is you being in your power here. Let's get a little bit more of this situation. Got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, <clears throat> Gemini showing up again. Really, really interested seeing what's going on, Aries. Give us more about this situation. <laughs> Surrender to your intuition. So tune into your inner voice and be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. It's going to give you whatever answers you need to. Um, and then surrender, ooh, and surrender the idea you can fix someone. So there may be something that, yes, you're letting go of something that, you know, maybe we're trying to force. It's time for a relationship shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own learning or healing. I did say learning, but I mean, same thing. So we may need to let go of the idea that we can make someone do something here. Now, this could even be family, a family member of yours or a close friend um, a lot of you may even just resonate as a, you know, maybe a past love or, you know, maybe a current love if you're involved here, right? Because there's like this sense of a resurgence. Anyhow, the thing that I don't remember what I was hearing, but the thing that I'm getting is it's like you don't, the thing with this and what you are attracting into your life and why spirit is saying, you know, maybe even wait <laughs> is because it's like you don't it, it's now it, connections relationships they they all come with their own set of challenges okay there's no perfect thing but there is something different when it comes to equality a sense of um it it, it feels a lot more effortless okay and i do feel you have done a lot of work here so why not, Aries? Why not allow something beautiful enter your life? You've hung on to something, I think, I feel that it, far too long, and, and you're ready. You're ready to uh, let love in. Open your heart to love. What else for Aries? Oh my gosh, this one decided to really show up. <laughs> I'm not surprised it's the aid of autumn. Uh, yeah, do more research before proceeding if you need to on anything. Could even be about work. It could be about something that you... Maybe, you, maybe there is something that feels a little bit redundant and tedious, but keep going here because there's something that you are creating when it comes to good wealth, good health. But you do, you may, you may need to take a little time out. Okay, hold on. Education in form of seminars or going back to school or apprenticeship. So, you know, there may be something with that for some of you. You know, this may be the go sign if you've been just kind of, you know, mulling over it, not sure if you want to do it, we'll do it. Excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. Now look, the Eight of Autumn is the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is... <laughs> You you've got something complete here. You, you, you built it. <clears throat> High priestess. Yeah, trusting your intuition. See, this is, there, there's something about trusting your intuition and, and listening to your gut instincts. Those aha moments. Careful reflection before taking action. So study more. Do more research. 
insights that come through meditation. You're getting this again with the High Priestess. <clears throat> Pisces is coming through, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also, Spirit is saying for a lot of you, you know, trust your intuition when it comes to the right moves to make when, when it, you know, with your work or projects or something that you want to be skillful at. Okay, let's see. What else? There is a lot going on here with you. There's Hermit and the Three of Autumn and Six of Spring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. There's, there's good news here. <laughs> Here's good news. Okay, so follow your passion when it comes to your career. See, this is, when you follow your passion when it comes to your career, um, or maybe it's like long-term goals, because maybe some of you could be retired or there's something else going on. This is you making your dreams real. Be the best at what you do. And this is why you have to say no to something, some people, some things, because you're being the best and becoming the best at what you do and being compensated for your creative talents. So I feel you Aries, you know, persevere because you may not see all of the things that you want to see just yet, but you are building, you know, something when it comes to establishing security, wealth, more money. Also, you could be connecting and collaborating here with the, um, with a mentor or someone here that could be this uh, part of this uh, situation where you are um, having this encounter with someone. Definitely could be earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Find or be a mentor, okay? Which one is it? And just do that. Take a break from society. Ooh, I feel that that's what we've got to do. Taking a break from society. Yeah, because it's like... Sometimes when we're too, around too much, whether it's society, social media, you can, you can tend to get a little lost and dazed and confused with others, um, you know, ideas and dreams and, and whatever they got going on. But anyhow, a commitment to your spiritual growth. I really feel there's something strong with you staying loyal and committed to your own spiritual growth or just your personal growth, you know, whatever you resonate with, with, with the most. Because I do feel that you are now, because some of you, if you've been working with others, I, I feel that you might be ready to do something on, on your own and be that like you're ready to advance and you're ready to um, help others. And that soon will be. Um, and I feel a very powerful attraction with you and another here, too, with the six of wands. Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards. This is the lovers smart choices. And by the way, I said wonderful news. I thought I said something about good news. I don't even see that on there. Success and public recognition. I, I wouldn't be surprised because we have the Ten of Pentacles, but we also have that world card coming out. And um, I'm also sensing you with the uh, being in the king and the queen of wands. So we are having some type of influence and power here. So might as well enjoy it. Okay, what else? Cope, create with spirit. Yeah, have confidence. Don't give in to any insecurities. In, in fact, this might be a challenge with insecurities with the six of spring. So this is why I was encouraging um, for some of you Aries, you know, not the ones that aren't doing it or, you know, don't have motivation. Do something really like small right now to help build your physical stamina. Okay, because it all helps and it'll help you too. And I feel that it will help you stay concentrated more too. Anyhow, uh, co-create with spirit, right? Make your dreams real. Oh my God, remember I told you here is, uh, it's like the crow spirit has got that, the thread for you and you've got the needles here. You're ready? Spirit's ready. <laughs> and you can choose what you want. Okay, what else? Oh, king of summer. This is a king of cups, a romantic partner you can trust. It literally says it right there. Oh my gosh, good for you, Aries. So this is what you're manifesting. If you don't have one, you're going to have a romantic partner you can trust. Oh, I like it. 
I feel this is a healer too, or just someone who's super sensitive and, you know, just really in tuned. Okay, excellent advice that comes from the heart. Yeah, because, you know, we could have someone that's a counselor here, a, a healer of some type. I was just, I just said that. Anyhow, getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. Hmm. Could be something like native here or yeah, maybe some kind of tribe or something, something cultural here. Good. So now just trust yourself too, because I feel the thing with you, Aries, that you're going to, that will help you maintain a sense of um, confidence is to, you know, just keep taking care of your inner world. Make sure your inner world isn't stormy. Okay, so don't give in to too much overthinking or overindulging or, you know, <laughs> I, I just picking up overindulging for a reason, for some reason. Anyhow, I was thinking of um, your emotions too, you know, not getting too drowned, drown, you know, yeah, get, get all like, uh, yeah, drown in your emotions, right? So <clears throat> just be on top of your emotions and be devoted and know that you are um, more than capable of being in tuned, you know, with the intentions of others too. Okay, what else for Aries? We do have water sign with that King of Cups. And we ha ha ha, yay, look at here. Woo, got the Emperor. This is you, Aries. Use logic and structure to increase your success. You know what? I was, I was sensing, didn't I say Empress earlier? I swear I said Empress earlier, and here's the Emperor. <laughs> and then we got the lovers. Oh, my God. Okay. Anyhow, it's like a good match here. Get organized. That's all you got to do. Maybe, you know, write out a plan. Get organized. Figure out your time. Um, figure out time where you can take your breaks to or whatever. A firm but compassionate leader. Remember, <laughs> no means no, right? You're being firm and also compassionate because here is the compassion. Here is the king Here's the king of summer. So, you know, you've got your fiery energy and you've got this uh, beautiful blend of the water too. So you're utilizing and integrating a lot of aspects of yourself. And this is what's making you really successful. Just use logic and structure right now and you will increase your success. A lot of you, you're on top of your game or you will be with the emperor. I mean, the world card, the emperor, six of wands, oh my gosh, 10 of pentacles, all cards of success. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. This is 10 of wands. I would, ooh, this is 10 of wands I was getting because some of you, you might even feel bad for saying no. No is a complete sentence. Try to practice that. <laughs> Um, you know, you all only have this time anyhow. So speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always, you know, trying to make everyone else happy or um, especially you workaholics, okay? Um, you know, just trying to make everyone happy. You've got to make yourself happy or what's going to happen if you don't and you don't keep it in check, Aries, what's going to happen is you're going to end up resenting and you may end up hating what you do. And, you know, that's not a good place to be because you're in a place where you're creating something that you absolutely love to do. That's why we have to keep balance, right? <clears throat> and it's okay if you do get burned out. You'll get your mojo back and you'll find your balance. So surrender to the beauty of the natural world. To me, this is Mother Earth. This is Empress. It's like Mother Earth is just wanting to really surround you and comfort you. Take a relaxing break. You know, when's the last time? Well, some of you might have already done this, but when's the last time you just sat out and just looked out there? Just maybe look bird watch or something. Spend time in nature. Get creative on how you can spend time in nature or bring nature indoors if you can't. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. You have to. Okay, there's a card that wants to come out with this. <laughs> Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Also sense the um, nature spirits are working with you too. Six of Pentacles, nice. This is all about being in the flow 
and really feeling that flow of ecstasy, synergy, and there's going to be more than enough. So I feel spirit is saying, just surrender, take it easy. You're really coming into or already in a, a good place of give and take. And you are having to maintain your boundaries, okay? Because six of pentacles, we are balanced. We are good. And we're really good with, you know, our time, our energy, maybe, you know, volunteer work if you want to, or, you know, being in a place of either receiving unexpected gifts and income, or maybe if you're really well off, you're giving that to others. But, you know, you have to replenish because I do feel a lot of you, you do give a lot to others because there's something about taking the need to stop though. Okay, so that you can do something here because I feel what's happening is you've up leveled yourself and your, your spirit wants you to be in that position of receiving. Six of Pentacles is a very good indicator here. I, I'm Aries. I really, you've got really good card. I mean, you really do have some really good cards here. So. I feel that you're just, you're so, you're so, you're so good about sticking to something that you really truly believe about yourself or what you deserve. And it is paying off. It always has. What else? Oops, there's a card here. This card should, yeah, I feel like for some reason it was underneath this deck. I don't know how, but let's look at it. Seven of bottom. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next step. A prudent investment of time or money. See, we were talking about that with that four of autumn. Now we've got the seven of autumn. This is seven of pentacles. So, you know, this is about having patience. You've, you've done the work. You're planting your seeds. And now you, all you got to do is take time to rest so that you can plan, plan your next step. Uh, because there is something I, you know, I'm glad that this came out because the six of wands too, this could be an indicator. Sometimes people get a little bit too caught up in their successes and they're in the limelight and they're feeling really good that they forget to make, you know, plans for the next successes and then they get a little lost and then they get discouraged, right? So it's always good to take time to bask, um, in your achievements and stuff, but you know, always have, you know, something else going on too, right? So that you can stay focused. Balance. Here's temperance. Um, and that's associated with Sagittarius. So take everyone's input into consideration. Oh, that's, that's interesting because you do have the three of pentacles. So there's ideas and things and solutions coming to you to help you, <laughs> Okay. Oh, that was funny how that bounce, like bounced right over there too. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Okay. Merge. Yeah. It's like talking about someone here. <laughs> Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Some of you guys may be attracting someone with Sagittarius placements in their, in their chart too. So, oh, look at the lion here in the balance card. And we got the, we got the uh, lion here. Now, I wonder if this emperor has an eagle somewhere, because isn't that an eagle? I don't see the eagle, but I know there is an emperor. I know there's an emperor in one of the tarots with an eagle. Anyhow, okay, what else for Aries? You got to let go of your attachment to results. So give with a, give with a good heart. Don't worry about what's coming back. Just do all you can. Don't do too much. Don't do too little and then surrender because the formula for success is all, is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go. Time to let go. See, let go of, you know, the worry and when it's going to happen. Let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desire outcome can sabotage it. So pay attention to that. That's important. What else? I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of like if you plant a seed and then you get so discouraged that you kind of pick at the seed because maybe that seed isn't ready to sprout for another 60 days. Maybe you have other dreams and other, 
you know, goals that we'll call seeds that sprout within, you know, a short amount of time, whatever it is. And then you dig it up and you dig it up and then it can't even take form because it's been disturbed. The dirt, the soil has been disturbed so much that the seed can't even sprout. Okay. So the formula and the seeds to all of your dreams have, has its own time of sprouting and ripening. Princess of winter, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, and undiplomatic. So information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear speaking the truth with kindness and an indigo child or adult. Some of you, I feel that you are the indigo child or adult, or you do have an indigo child, or you may have one in the near future. Okay. And you're a truth seeker. And it can be hard, I feel, for some to be around you because you do demand authenticity or you can just see the bullshit in others. But anyhow, there could be some type of news, maybe even gossip or, you know, information that, um, you know, maybe we don't like the messenger, but it's necessary to get this information. So just, you know, the thing that Spirit is saying actually with this uh, Princess of Winter is the past will try to play havoc on something or someone. Now, listen, if, if something presents itself <clears throat> and we have, we've, we've gone through the troubles and we've gone through our past situations and we learned a lot. Spirit is saying you maybe you stay quiet, listen to everything because don't make a, assumptions about some, someone, you know, at this point because they could surprise you have a beginner's mind so don't allow something from the past you know infiltrate something with someone new or a new situation here um, especially after healing to you know infiltrate and get that past energy uh, to sabotage some type of new situation here. So take your time with something or someone. What else? Princess of Autumn, studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous. We do have childlike energies here. So, you know, there may be something where some of you, you do have children at play or we may be dealing with you know, um, a blend of, you know, immaturity and maturity here, whether it's within ourselves or others, but anyhow, you're going to have some happy news. And I, I definitely see happy news Aries on money, you know, something good about your money because it's showing up big time, 10 of pentacle. I mean, all of the pentacles is, is about this money situation here. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. Well thought out plans that go perfectly. Needing a little push to get going. Mm, just take one step here. Okay. And I feel that whatever news that you get or promotion or unexpected maybe income will give you that boost you need. What else? Now, some of you, you might be ready to, to take action here. Oh, yeah, you, you know, time to collaborate. This is the three of pentacles. So follow your passion when it comes to your dreams, your work, whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, be generous with spirit. This is six of pentacles. This is being in the flow, okay? Because when you are in a place of being a great leader and knowing you got what it takes, spirit will provide. So it will be important to be in a place of generosity without attaching any results or outcome to what, you know, you may get back because what happens is things will, things come back to you at the times that it needs to. Okay. Spirit is doing something here to help you conserve your time, your resources, your energy wisely, because this is going to be around for a long time. What else? This is fortune. You do need to take some time out. You need to cult, you need to cultivate a sense of, you know, healthy respect for yourself, right? Be your own best friend. If no one else can tell others no for you, stand up for yourself, right? Because some of you, I feel that um, it, it really is just about 
saying, no, I'm done with that. <laughs> or not now. Make sure you do recharge your batteries. Now, I do see this bear spirit, and I saw a bear somewhere else on one of these other cards. Was it the three? Look, oh my goodness. Take time out. Spend some time with bear spirit. Wow. So there's a provider here, a protector to keep you warm, especially on these cold, lonely nights. Recharge your batteries because guess what? <laughs> we got like this situation forming here that, you know, is going to awaken things up and awaken you up. Yeah, you are laying a, so a solid foundation. So you do need to take time out uh, to really contemplate or to um, make sure that you're, you know, assessing things wisely, right? Maybe you have been working and been laying a solid foundation. So gosh, take a break. But I get more four, uh, four pentacles with this lay a solid foundation, and that's exactly what you're doing. I mean, this is the ten. Of, this is what it's building up to. Ten of pentacles here. And even if you had to start again or start small, Aries, you know that those it's like these three twigs or these couple of twigs, the three of pentacles. Don't worry, turns into your ten of pentacles here. <clears throat> some of you could be learning how to design something or build something you could even be working with a builder there could be something with real estate for some of you what else oh my god oh my gosh four of four of ones <laughs> Okay, be grateful because you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness, a content, contented personal life. You know, this is really an indication that job well done, you've made it home, baby. And, you know, there's a sense of um, this person here too that you're with where we are protected from uh, influences of the outside that could, you know, be damaging or negative because it's a very positive and powerful force that was brought together here. Okay. Look at Cupid's arrow. <laughs> four of, uh, four of wands is commitment, completion, you know, something about a house here too, a home, but most importantly, celebrating being good and being happy here. I mean, I feel that this is what's happening here. You're going to be some, taking some time out and recharging your batteries, feeling good. Oh, there's something that wants to come out with this Four of Wands. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Four of Wands. Oh, 11-11. I felt like I needed to say that. It's been a while since I've actually said 11-11 with that Four of Wands. What do you want Aries to know with this Four of Wands? Surrender to the wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. You're going to be having a really good time, Aries, so don't worry. Your goals are within reach. There's a good um, intimate connection as well. So we got things that are really good here. Let's see. Oops, got a lot of cards. Okay, what else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future, Aries. Hmm. There it is, Aries. Remember I said the Ten of Wands earlier? Well, here it is. So guess what you get to look forward to? Dropping it ask you get help from others uh, maybe you get brave enough to ask for help from others you're finally saying no you know ending all work and no play being weighed down by many responsibilities oh my goodness and we get to we get to take time out from it with the four of winter look at that you get to set um, aside your concerns for now Ooh, i love that Ooh, I like that. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation. Listen, Aries, it's as simple as that, really. You'll feel really good that you did it. 
seems like a weird thing for some, but it's not. Meditation can really bring peace, rest, rejuvenation, and solutions, okay? So the need for more sleep or take a vacation, baby. Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, how is spirit currently helping, dear Aries? How is spirit helping, dear Aries? With the princess of spring, getting rejuvenated and coming back. See, there's this more of these page energies here of being new. Uh, good news being, okay, so what does it say? It's time to go after your dreams. Yeah, because you're making your dreams. This is what spirit's helping you. Going after your dreams and making them real. Doing something that expands your horizons and letting your creativity take flight. So there's a positive force here. Here you are really feeling good and proud of yourself. And also with this page of wands, you know, this is a time of excitement. So some good news, maybe an invite, uh, being social. Okay. With the princess of spring, spring, which is the page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light.